Okay, now that we have a sheet that has multiple column headings, we're going to add multiple row headings to it. So what we're going to do is we want to put some columns to the left of this for our row heading. So the first thing we'll do is go to insert and insert a column left. This is where we'll have our top level row headings. And for this, we'll just put in some dates. Let's say 1000 BC and 7000 BC and 6000 BC. With those row headings, what we're going to do now is we're going to lock these headings so that if we scroll further to the right, those stay visible, just like we locked the column headings in the previous video. So we're going to go to View, and again, we're going to the Freeze menu, but in this time, we're going to go to lock one column. And if you'll see, now that column is locked so that however far to the right we scroll, that stays visible, and however far down we scroll, um, the top level headings stay visible. Okay, now we want to introduce some second level headings. So the first thing we'll do is go back to the column where our first headings are, and we're going to insert a column to the right. And then for each of the subheadings, we're going to insert rows. So we'll go insert row below, insert row below. And here we can put in our second level column headings. So let's say this is 8,000 to 8,300 BC. We'll make this 8301 to 8600 BC, and we'll make this one be 8601 to 8999 BC. So now we've got second level row headings. What we want is for this set of headings to also be frozen, so we'll go up and do a view freeze, and we're going to now freeze two columns, so that both of these columns stay visible. And then we'd like to make it clear that this, uh, this top level row heading covers all of these subheadings. So like we did before, we're going to select this cell and the two cells below it, and we'll go to firm format, merge cells, merge all. And now you have a single top level heading cell covers multiple second level heading cells.